it's hot out here. I'm out here so you guys don't have to. But we were driving by and we saw this uh, sign that said Mosquito Beach. So we're going to go check it out. Go see if they're messing with us or if this is an actual beach that's out here. But ain't much out here. Right now we're looking at about 95 degrees and it is hot. The past couple days we've just been looking for a place to go underneath the tree and lay under the shade. But right now it's Friday. A little busy with everybody getting off for the weekend so trying to get away from that and all right guys well here it is mosquito beach and yep there is no beach other than swamp land want to swim they're welcome to come out wow look at that that's the thing about here there's so many different birds a lot of wildlife That's a pretty bird there. Let's go check it out. Looks like he's ready to fly away. Sounds like he's crying. All these oyster shells. Well, that boat ain't going anywhere. Not feeling any mosquitoes yet. There's not much out here, so this place kind of looks abandoned. We're still uh, still in South Carolina. We were going to uh, Foley Beach. It was just way too crowded over there, so we decided to not go. But yeah, it's kind of isolated out here. Got a cafe over there. It looks like it's closed. All the way out there, it looks like uh, a shrimp boat, but it doesn't look like it's moving. It looks like it's barged somewhere, or maybe even stuck. They just left it there. Now let's get back to Mr. Van Gogh so we can get inside that AC. much as uh, Gina gets bitten by mosquitoes. She didn't want to come out here. They would eat her up alive. She just got that type of blood. They love her. Ooh, it's hot out here today. We want to thank you guys for watching our videos. We really do appreciate it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying them. Um, Thanks for the support. Keep watching the videos. If you haven't subscribed already, please do just hit that subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications on uh, future videos, just hit that notification button and you'll be notified. Thank you really from the bottom of our hearts. Your support means everything. And we're starting to get some comments from some of you and 
You really love those too, so keep those coming and uh, share it with your friends. The more the merrier. Absolutely. Thank you guys. Thank you. So we're gonna go check out a, a pond over here where we were camping at. And uh, they said it's pretty cool, so we're gonna go check it out. The only problem is there is a lot of gnats and mosquitoes out right now. And maybe it's because we're right next to the pond that makes a difference. But uh, we're gonna go check it out real quick and hopefully we don't get attacked too, too bad. Let's go. was actually a nice park um, that we came to and this park here they have uh, campers that reside here on a monthly and yearly basis and usually when you go to those parks um, they're not very nice because everybody has all their stuff out and some have more than others but uh, in this park it seems like they really do a nice job in controlling that because it's, it's really nice. It's in the woods. And the people here, when we checked in, the guy was awesome. Took care of us right away. And it was 30 bucks. 30 bucks for the night, so you can't beat that. Do not feed alligators. This is called Gator Bait Alley. What are the chances of us uh, <laughs> seeing an alligator? I saw some turtles this morning. It's just very swampy. As you can see Gina's getting, getting hit back there. That was like yesterday. Oh, it was like yesterday when we were out at the uh, at that church with the cemetery. Oh my lord. They were all over the place. So I guess it's that time of the year. Isn't that a turtle? Gina seems to always oh find gosh, there are, there's two of them. all the little animals. <laughs> there he is. He's coming up. Hey guys. Hey buddy. He came over to me when I was over there before. Hey! Must think he's getting some food. Right. But they said not to feed the animals. All right, we're gonna move along real quick. Wow, there's a bunch of them in there. Because as you can see, they're all in my face. Yeah, there's another one. I mean, it's really pretty. Yeah. You can see lots of things swimming around. I think it's all turtles. I think there was a sign back there that said no swimming. <laughs> hey, guys. Wow. There's four of them right here. Yeah, I saw that. There's Mr. Van Gogh over there. Just very peaceful. Really nice. Other than the gnats and the mosquitoes, but they're giving me a break right now. I'm gonna take these flip-flops off because on our last video, all I could hear was flip-flops. And it was like dum 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 dum. 
And that was it, guys. So these are the best places to get ice. Usually if you go anywhere else, it could be up to $2 or more. And that would just be for a um, 10 pound bag. Here for $2, it's a 22 pound bag for $2. So you really can't beat that. They're not all over the place, but uh, there's an app for that. Um, Twice the Ice is the most popular one. And then there's, uh, I think, Cooler Ice. Cooler Ice has an app. Twice the Ice doesn't. You just have to look at, uh, look at it online and see where their locations are. No, I got it. Thank you, bud. All right, thank you. You guys are awesome. I forgot to talk about this on one of our videos, but uh, this is where we keep our food storage and then everything else just has the uh, Coke, water, all the uh, soda pops and all that stuff and the beer, of course. So we're here in the town of North South Carolina. It's just a very small town and it looks like most of the shops are empty. Paul's Barber Shop. Look 
what that looks like. You don't get to see that too often. Vacant stores. Classes, GED, reading, writing, math, computers. That still looks like it's going. This has been gutted out. These are the places that I look forward to stopping in, checking out. I know Gina likes it too. We got a furniture store. It's Saturday right now, so probably not too busy but I can't imagine during the week if they're busy at all. Looks very isolated. Some of the windows are missing out on that building. Yeah, it looks like these have been closed for quite a while. that's left is a register. What once was. Now, there's the one thing that always looks nice are the banks. Yeah. Because they're the ones that are always making the money. your farming needs fertilizer chemicals seed we can cracking still has a lot of old equipment I have some old uh, pool equipment billiard balls couple of cues. Huh. Pecan Kraken. Look at that. Old Pepsi bottles. Ooh, it's cat. Look at that. 
You don't see tap too often. Half liter. Oh, look at that old scale. Yeah. This is an awesome little square. Looks like it has a lot of history. It's been here a long time. Anytime you come to these places, it's a real throwback. This one looks like all the stores are still operating. It's always nice to see. I love town squares. Got the courthouse. Starting to see a lot of flags out these days. And it's nice to see that we have a lot of people in this country that are patriotic. Just an awesome place. This would remind me of Friday Night Lights.
so we're over here at the uh, auto zone and this auto zone if they run out of parts they really have no problem getting the parts that they need because right back there is the warehouse or the distribution center for AutoZone and that thing is huge and you have the AutoZone store in the front I'm just filling random stuff, but I thought this was pretty neat to see all these cans all in one place. Yeah, that's it. again so much for watching we really do appreciate it and we'll see you again on our next episode we'll see you guys